be careful. I was asking God to touch me. I didn't. I told him I'm not leaving this place till I get touched. I closed my eyes. I saw God. I saw Him putting His power upon me. He told me He's never gonna leave me, Father. And He's helped me. He told me that I'm touched without Him. I'm gonna forget Him one point in my life, but He's gonna bring me back. Everyone else is gonna leave me, but He's gonna be the only one there holding my hand, bring me back to Him. <laughs> Amen. Come on. Um, today when I came to church, I didn't expect to get touched by God. But then after when I started praying, I just felt like I just didn't know what to do. Like God was in me and I couldn't do anything about it. Like, hey! And then like, God was touching me, and then like He showed me a lot of things. Like yeah, He showed He showed like He showed me how like everyone's going to be pastors or anything like that. And then, <laughs> and then Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. What, what else tell me? What does God? These show are your kids, Pastor. <laughs> And hang around here. God in me, like, there is this burning thing in me. And it felt like... It felt like <coughs> God like, uh, stopped me from, like, falling and stuff. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Father. God bless you. Kids a million dollars, and they will not do this. They don't act for anybody. <laughs> That's one thing about kids; they are without hypocrisy. You could give them a million dollars, and they will not act for you. I got three kids; I know what I'm talking about. But when God touches them, their lives are never the same. And this is just the starting point. Come on, son. Mm. I just ask God to like flow his love through me. And when we were praying, I was like feeling God like, like pouring his love through my heart. Yeah. 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 He was crying out, like, God, in this world what we see is sorrow, Lord. Take away the sorrow and give the joy oh. as in heaven. <laughs> Tell us, Tell what happened. My legs are shaking, I couldn't like stop moving. Did you speak in tongues? Yes. Hmm? Yeah. She did. Like, yeah. God bless you. Did anybody ask? For a few seconds, and, and I said the verse, I could do anything through him who strengthens me. And it said, God strengthened us, and then we stood still. We were st standing strong. <laughs> Um, it was amazing. Um, when I was just standing, my legs were just shaking for no reason. And then all these uh, letters were starting to come in my head. And wait, 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 guys. And Listen. all these languages were just starting to come in my head. And I just started to say them. And um, it was an am amazing experience. And then... Amen. You spoke in tongues today? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I saw. I felt her body was uh, shaking. Where is Priscilla? Feel, don't feel shy. Come yeah. and tell me what happened. What did you feel, Amma? Huh? Uh, hmm? I just started crying. Mm -hmm. The Lord touched you. Yeah. You felt the presence of God going through you. Amen. God is the marvelous thing. Mm. Keep the fire burning. You want to show flash? Yeah. Lights? It's like flash of red. Black. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I never prayed like this in my life ever. <laughs> and like, when I pray, I um, stammer, right? But then as I was praying, <laughs> Not once to dress them. Not once. Yeah. Oh my God. Take away the stammering, Lord. We pray for you.
stammering to go away from me. Lord, I break the power of stammering. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Break loose his mouth. Break loose his mouth. Break loose his mouth, Father. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus. Fill him with tongues, man. Come on, fill him with tongues. Come on, sweetheart. Speak loudly. I was standing there. I was like with everybody. We're all solid. We start breaking down out of nowhere. And like I felt <laughs> God like touch me. He kept pushing me. I'm like, Lord, please, please, like take the sorrow out of this world, Lord. Amen. He touched me. That's all I know. He touched me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. <laughs> She's new. The Lord is good. Nobody can take pride in anything. Nobody can say I'm strong. Because the Bible says he who thinks I'm strong, let him beware lest he fall. Okay? So pray. And and, and take this fire to others. Read the word of God. You know? Get your eyes off the television. The one eye devil. <laughs> I also watch TV sometimes, I'm guilty. <laughs> but what I'm saying, um, don't, don't let television dictate your life. Don't let it control you. <clears throat> okay? Take out time to read the Bible, pray, seek God. Take time. And when you read the Bible, your Bible will change your life. Look at the life of some of the greatest people in the world. They had their private time with God. Those were the people who came out of the crowd, into the cloud, so to say. Okay? They went into the high places, where the cloud is, where the glory is. Okay. Sometimes it takes you to get out of your crowd and get into a place where I'm going to see God. I want to hear God today, okay? I'm going to miss a meal. And today I'm going to pray. I want to know what is my future. Spend time sometimes. And God does not get mad with people who check him out. The Bible says, remind me concerning my promises. Amen. Okay? God bless you all. Amen. 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 Be filled with the Holy Spirit. And the best is yet to come. come.